What is up, you guys? Um, me here again. So earlier I posted a video, um, don't do things that are temporal, but do things, commit to doing things eternal. And in that video, I mentioned that I was going to make another video uh, about uh, the, um, sorry, it's, this day sped up so quickly and it's already 4.56 in the morning, probably because I slept all day yesterday. Uh, my body needed rest. Anyways, um, yeah. They started. They started. Yawns have started. The yawn. The yawns are ruining my videos. Nah, I'm joking. Um, but uh, all right. Oh, it's a piece of mustache hair that got my. All right, um, I'm not doing this on purpose. So the difference between Earth and Heaven. Earth is imperfect. Heaven is perfect. Earth has sin, hate, sin, hate, crime, murder. Um, Things I'm not even going to say the name of because they're just too disgusting. Uh, death. Um, how imperfect Earth is. Hell is so so very much more imperfect but heaven is infinitely times greater in perfection there's nothing imperfect of heaven there's no sin in heaven there's no death in heaven there's no hate in heaven there's nothing except love Grace, peace, mercy, joy, happiness, e for all eternity on, on astronomical scales. You know how happy you can be on Earth? Well, heaven is uh, trillions upon trillions of quadrillions of 900 trillion Billion, million, hundreds of thousands, thousands, and hundreds. And it's far, 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 um, far more um, happy and perfect and everything than those numbers I just mentioned. And it's not just happy and joy and love. It's intense happy, joy, and love. Intense means a very, 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 very high amount of it. A very strong feeling of it. You'll be able to grasp it more. You'll be able to um, endure... Um, being in the presence of the Lord for all of eternity, you know, in our physical bodies right here and right now, if God, or if we went to heaven, we'd be consumed because we're, uh, well, our souls isn't of sin for those who are saved and washed clean with the blood of Christ. But somebody who is unsaved, stands before God, will be consumed. Because of sin. God is holy and man is sin. 
It's like putting your hand in a fire. You're not going to tell that fire, that was mean of you. Why didn't you burn me? That was mean. You're not going to say that. No. Because the nature of the fire is to burn. Same with God. God and sin are not compatible. God's nature is to consume evil. Because he's holy. He will not put up with any sin in heaven. If one sin, just one lie, entered heaven, one bad thought, just one bad thought, heaven would be instantly corrupt as it was the new earth, on the new earth when Adam and Eve sinned. So, earth was heaven before Adam and Eve sinned. Everything was perfect. Everything, there was no imperf imperfection. Everything was perfect. Animals were tamed. Uh, you could ride the ba uh, on the back of a lion. Uh, you could ride on the back of a great white shark and it wouldn't eat you. But when they sinned, disobeyed God, and ate the forbidden fruit, Everything in this world became sideways. Everything went down the crapper. Everything was perfect. No rain. Well, maybe it rain. But maybe it had rain because rain is the water of heaven. Um. But there was no storms, no tornadoes. Everything destructive is of the devil. Everything. Destructive is of Satan. Everything of everything that's destruction is of the devil. Now that does not mean that God has judgments that will end up killing people, but that's different because God is a holy God, and He can't stand the sight of sin. Sin has to be punished, but the devil. Is go it goes on a murder spree just for the fun of it. He's sick. He's a psychopath. Trillions of times worse than any sickened psycho on earth. I mean, Satan wouldn't have tr any issues murdering babies. He would chop them up. I'm not trying to sound dark or twisted. I am just naming the truth here. We all know how bad the devil is, but do you know, truly know how bad he is? Only those who indwelt by the Holy Spirit knows how bad the devil truly is. Animal, animal cruelty, um, child molestation, um, murder, rape, theft, adultery, all of that comes from the devil. That, Satan is the creator of that all. So why, how could you not think that the devil is that sick in the mind if he's the creator of all that? So yes, it's, there's just no words to describe. And yet I don't hate him. I don't hate the devil because I can't hate anything. I'm starting to hate sin more and more. Sorry, just, just try to hold it back, Eon. Uh, I'm starting to hate sin more and more, which is good because that means I'm getting more and more closer and closer to God. Um... So yeah, I mean, where was I? Five oh five. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of where I left off at. Oh yeah, um. There's none of that in heaven, though. Everything in heaven is absolute 
bliss and love and perfect for all of eternity. Intense joy, peace, love, all that. Everything perfect is in heaven. There's not one imperfection. A lack of knowledge is indeed imperfection. So what does that indicate? A lack of knowledge indicates, uh, indicates that it's imperfect. So what does that indicate even more? That means in heaven we, were, we are going to have our full minds, full knowledge. We are going to know everything. You got questions you want to ask God? Like how many stars are there, God, in total? How many years did it take you to build, to create the entire universe? God, how do you control everything all at the same time? You have those questions now, right? Um, but once you enter through those pearly gates, your knowledge is changed for eternity. You will know everything. You won't need to ask those questions. You, already, you will already know. You are you will already know. Now we're not that doesn't mean we're gonna have the power of God. There's only one God and three distinctive beings. God the Father, Jesus Christ, Lord and King, and the Holy Spirit. Um so we're not gonna have like the power of God, but we're going to unlimited knowledge. You don't have to it it's so it, it requires a lot of God is so, so, so much more than just unlimited knowledge. So just because a person has unlimited knowledge does not mean they have the power of God. And if somebody had the power, the, here's the reason why we're not going to have the superpowers or, or, well, maybe like we'll be able to, maybe like walk at the speed of light or something like that. But here's why we're not going to have be uh, have power equivalent to God's. There is only there's only one God and three distinctive beings. God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. If we had the power of God, we would all claim to be God. That's a form of idolatry. And there's no idolaters in heaven. Idolatry is a sin, you guys. Everybody would be classifying themselves as God if they had the power of God. So we're not going to have the power of God. But like again, again, like I said, a lack of knowledge or um, unlimited knowledge does not mean a person is God. Let that just sit in your mind for a second. Because God is so much more than just unlimited knowledge. He's the creator. First of all, God has never been created. He's always been in existence. Eternity past, eternity present, and eternity in the future. He was never created. Jesus Christ was never created. The Holy Spirit was never created. Angels were created. So that means at a time, eternity passed ago, there was only the three beings. God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. So he built angel. He created angels. I uh, said built like, like the robots. He created angels uh, because Lucifer was an angel and he, uh, he, he was created. Um, so angels did not always exist, but probably for like, actually on, in the physical world, on the, in the physical realm on earth here, we go by years. So on earth, maybe like hundreds of thousands of quadrillions of years ago. <laughs> That's a long time. Oh, I feel so so bad for the people who are on their way to hell. 
because they are going to be burning and tormented for eternity. Not just a eternity like an exaggeration. God can't exaggerate. When he says uh, the smoke of their torment will rise up forever and ever and they shall have no rest day nor night. That doesn't mean like forever. Oh, that was forever ago, bro. Like, like exaggeration. No, God cannot exaggerate. So hell has to be forever. No end. And people are going to be in there for... Trillions, for millions of trillions and trillions of quadrillion, of quadrillion and of quadrillions of years. And then it just starts all over again at, from, um, and it's still a trillion year la years later and it's still day one. So... Get people saved, you guys. Hell is the worst. Hell is so horrific, you guys, that if you could come back to life after seeing... Some people have. Bill Weiss, um, Mary Kay Baxter. Um, but here's the thing. God will have to, would have to... He had to have moved... Uh, removed the trauma and the horrors of hell from their memories. Because hell is so severe in fear. I kind of like it how that rhymed. Hell is so severe in fear that if God didn't remove the horror and the trauma from their minds, they would have leg legitimately died of fright. You know, nothing in uh, in the world is scary enough to really die of fright, right? It's, it's a it's a saying. Oh man, you scared me half to death, or you scared me to death. Um. But if you, if you had the memory, uh, the uh, horror and trauma of hell, you really would. Uh, your body will start to die. But if God removes that. And just gives you, lets you keep the memory, but removes the horror and the trauma, then it it won't kill you. Uh, you could divide both soul and spirit. So why wouldn't he be able to divide the trauma, horrors, but leave the memory? Yeah. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I could have, I mean, uh, I gotta make this video black and white. Um... And it's going to take like probably half an hour to make the video black and white because I go, I, it saves to my camera roll on my iPhone 10. And then I hit the edit button and then go to color filters and then black and white. I, I could cover a whole bunch of other things up in this video, but I just want to keep it real. And I'm going to probably be yawning for the next 40 minutes if I... Um, I'm actually trying to hold back some yawns, so. Um, but don't worry. This isn't the end of me or the channel. I'm still going to be posting. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy.